Welcome to the Stogie Palace. This is Chris. Trying something new today. Uh, it's only the one I have of this kind, and it was a gift from my son for Christmas. So, give you a quick look and see what this is. This is a Tatuaje Kohonu 2003. It's a light hitting it the wrong way. Yeah, could be better, huh? Yeah, it's those shadows. That shadow helps, but. <laughs> I guess that wasn't the greatest zoom in, but I uh, don't know a lot about it. All I know is that it's late rated as full strength. The wrapper looks really, really nice. I'm having a hard time finding a whole lot of information about what this is made out of. Really nice taste and draw, sweet. So, hey, I'm glad I'm having a full stomach, so let's see what happens. I went with a straight cut today. Didn't want to have to worry about draw issues. It's a it's a big cigar, so uh, if I can get more of a draw out of it, maybe go a little bit quicker on it. Although it, that just may mean it'll kick my ass that much quicker. Draws good, a uh, little loose, which to me means I'm. It's, it's easy to pull through it, but I'm getting more air, well, more air than I'd like compared to the amount of smoke. Good start though, good, great aroma, good flavor, good looking cigar. So let's go a little bit further and see what we think. Through the first third, moving into the second. This is a good cigar, but um, I was a little worried about it because of the listing on one site that said full strength. I just found another site that said medium to full. Um, I don't know yet. Um, I'm feeling some strength for sure. And I, I can't blame any of that on this cocktail because there's hardly any whiskey in it. Just, just enough, but uh, the root beer is a good pairing for cigars I'm finding. There was a crack near the burn um, and it went right through there it didn't splinter any further it's fine the construction's great the burn line is pretty good I mean yeah there's a little waviness there but not an issue tons of smoke the draw has definitely improved flavors are nice and nice clean finish I like that in a cigar but I'm feeling the nicotine this could be the ass kicker that I always thought it might be so I found a website that talked a little bit about this, the Tatuaje, which means tattoo in Spanish, uh, Cojonu 2003. Its uh, origin is Nicaragua. By the way, this website is cigarinspector.com. Check them out. Uh, it's a Toro 6.5 inch by 52 ring gauge, wrapper, filler, and binder, all in Nicaragua, handmade, obviously. Price range is 12 to $13. I don't know how much this cost. My son bought it in a cigar shop in California. Knowing their tax situation out there is probably a $15 cigar at least. But this is good, I like it. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this when I'm getting towards the end of it. Uh, and like I said, I prepped, I have full stomach. There's a retro, let's talk about that real quick since um, one of the videos I like to watch is the Joey show, he talked about retro is a bad, okay, retro hail, you do not inhale. Just want to make sure that's clear. There's no, now there are some people that do videos where they are inhaling it. You can tell they're inhaling it into their lungs. This one guy, I don't know how he's standing after he's done and how he's not coughing and, and just having a rough time with it, but he's mastered it apparently. But a retro hail, you just get it far enough back to go up into your sinuses. And yes, you do pick up different sensations, different flavors. If it's really harsh, super strong. Now this is strong in nicotine, but it's not strong in uh, the pepperiness as far as burning the back of my throat or my tongue or my sinuses. Really nice uh, aroma on it too. Time for the waft. Ooh, that's nice. It's got a, a creamy kind of 
I'm getting better at picking up these these flavors. You know, I, I I'm not going to discount the people that pick this stuff up. The more you do this, the all of a sudden the flavor memory starts coming back. Wow, but I can't. That's the thing. I'm smelling something that I I, I don't normally smell with cigars, and I can't put my finger on it though. Um, this this article here they talk about the the kind of flavors they're picking up, and w one of the more popular ones is coffee. I don't drink coffee, so I it's not in my flavor memory. The thing is, I'm not picking it up as much in my mouth as I am in the nose. And that's why the retro hail for me is pretty nice because I will pick up some things better that way. I don't know why. Um, I didn't scorch my taste buds. I had some Chinese food, a little bit of some hot mustard on there, but I don't, I don't know. Look at that. May not look like it to the camera, but trust me. It might be because there's a light right behind the camera up here and it's picking it, I can see, but it's like, this is a serious amount of smoke. Good construction, good burn, nice, clean, short finish, but strong, feeling the jitters a little bit. That's okay. I'm not going anywhere, I'm not driving. Not that it matters. So real quick, I want to talk to you about um, something I was just doing here right now watching is um, I'm sure anybody watching this is aware of the same videos and channels and stuff I follow, but I'll remind you. Cigar Obsession. Um, he puts out great, probably, I call him my go, there's go-to cigars, right? I call him my go-to videos for cigar reviews. They're, they're short and unlike mine, to the point, says what he picks up, doesn't rate him like me. I don't know how much I'm going to keep rating them though. I mean, it's really just for me. I'm just sharing with you what my personal rating system is, which is, you know, one to a hundred and they're all usually between 85 and a hundred and well, 98 or so. But he has uh, and, and if you do any kind of search on a cigar, his videos will pop up near the top. And, um, he has a CO fan face group, which I've, okay. Time for a Stogie Palace commentary. It's funny smoking cigars. Not only is it relaxing, but you also get reflective. And I'm not buzzed by any means by anything, whether it be the cigar or the or the uh, cocktail I'm having here. Um, I had said about a week or two ago that if the group of people that were in this um, fan group was unlike any others I'd come across over the long time I've been on the internet in all these different types of groups and I, I talked about this on another video I'm not sure if it's in this channel though and it was just amazing how everybody got along there wasn't any flame wars going on um, that happens and that every seems like every news group or any group like that eventually starts breaking down especially when you have hundreds of people like there is in this in this group here and damn it, I don't know if I jinxed it or spoke too soon or what, but a little civil war broke out a little over a week ago. And a new group is formed. I don't really consider them in competition with each other because they're different. Yes, it's about cigars, but one of them is more um, uh, loose, funny for sure. Great guys on there. A lot, All the same guys that were in the other group. Just uh, different batch of them and there's no uh, barriers <laughs> except you know no racist stuff or or no knocking religion those kind of things otherwise it's a free-for-all and it's great a lot of good senses of humor but Brian over at Cigar Obsession can't knock him I mean uh, he's, he's sent me some cigars we've talked back and forth via email um, he's a good guy you know I, it's funny, in my lifetime, now I'm going to go off on another tangent here, I seem to make friends on both sides of, of a particular sides of two different sides of things. People that each hate each other, and I'm not saying these people hate each other, but it's a couple of them are getting to that point, um, but people that just hate each other with a passion, yet I'm the friend to both of them. It's, it's it's happened a lot, especially in the last 10 years or so, 
meeting a lot of people when I was more involved in politics. And then again, here again, there goes this video. It's going to be a damn long one again, but sorry. Um, hey, back to the cigar. But no, seriously, though, uh, it's a shame that there was some uh, bad blood spilled because I didn't see that coming. I really was surprised. Um, what can you say, you know? It's, it, I shouldn't be surprised this is the way it works with relationships, no matter what kind. There's always bumps in the road. Always surprises. A lot of times, and I'm not a pessimist by any means, a lot of times when people, uh, when things are going along nice and swimmingly, bam, something, you know, something happens to rock the boat a little. Just maybe just to remind you you're alive and, and to uh, be thankful for what you have. I don't know. But back to the cigar. I like it. A little dry. Um, but I sure can't complain about it. I mean, the dryness may just be me. And the fact that it's 25% relative humidity out here. So anyway, we'll go a little bit further down to the bad point. Um, get a little cotton mouth there. Probably just because I need my root beer and Jameson's to replenish. But we'll, let's go a little further. See how it goes. Hopefully it's not a whole lot stronger. We'll see. It's a quick update. <clears throat> I'm getting close to the band point here, the double bands. This is an interesting cigar. I score high for, for complexity. For me, complexity is flavor shifts. There's definitely a flavor shift going on here coming into the last third. It's sweetening up. The, that aroma that I was smelling on the waft earlier, I'm starting to get more of it. Uh, in the middle part there, it seemed like it was just a bunch of strength and you know I was feeling it but now although the wrapper is starting to unwind a little bit there right there kind of coming loose but we'll keep an eye on that but it's it's a, not a slow burner for such a large cigar and and with that straight cut and with the big ring gauge and with a lot of smoke this is just I might as well just have an IV of nicotine going right into my arms because this is one hell of a delivery system. Getting down to the end, look at that. That is clouds of smoke. Cumulostratus, I believe, would be the proper term for it. But no, this is a this is good. Um, I'm going to give this one a 94, which is up there for sure. The only reason why it came down a couple notches is because there's still quite a bit left there. And actually, before I got that far down, I was sensing a lot of heat coming through the middle of it too early. That's that's a shame because this last third has been the most flavorful. It's 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 sweetened up. It the aroma was terrific. The smoke output was outstanding. The aroma, everything, great. So this is definitely a winner. Just to give you a reference, of what else I've scored a '94? Uh, the Padron 1964 Anniversary Series. Uh, let's see the Rocket Patel Royale. Those were two in the top. Seven, I believe, in the top 25 for Cigar Aficionado. The Tarano Exodus 1959 Gold. A Nica Libre. <laughs> yes, that's right. And the La Flor Dominicana 1994. All outstanding cigars. And this definitely goes in that category. Um, so, what did I? What were my final thoughts on this? Let's see. Great cigar. Very complex. Got better at the end. Like I said, fairly even burn. No relights. Lots of smoke. Good draw. Medium to full strength. Yeah, the uh, strength kind of came back down, so I'm not feeling as much as I was in the middle there. Who knows? You know, everybody's metabolism, and speaking of metabolism, the strength, I can tell, because I've been smoking this one for about an hour and a half. When I have to run to the restroom because my metabolism is speeding up, I know there's some strength in there, but it's come back down, which is great, because I don't want to end it just like, you know, a zombie, especially when I, you know, plan on trying to get some sleep tonight, but these relax me more than anything. Good solid smoke. Definitely a winner. I'm definitely going to tell my son he, a lot of those I named off to you, and some above that, he got me for Christmas just in the blind. You know, he, he had a, all I had on my wish list was Tatuaje. I didn't, the only other one I had there was a La Casita Criollo, Criollo I think it's called. And um, I thought that one was score up there because I remember really liking it, but it didn't. Uh, you know, I, I'm trying to rate these all as, 
fairly and evenly as I can, but it scored uh, below that in 94. I don't, I don't know what it was, but it was, it was lower than that for sure. Flavors just weren't as good. This is a damn good cigar. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the people I mentioned in this video and uh, all the cigar videos out there. There's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of good guys out there doing some cool things for us cigar consumers to help us learn. I've learned a lot in the last six months. Um, it's it's been, been nice, especially to see out people out there enjoying the same thing I am. And, you know, even if it's got nicotine, it's still relaxing. And no, as far as I know, I don't know anybody that ever gets hooked on nicotine from cigars, even though there's a lot of it in some of these. This one's been aging for about six weeks, so definitely not right off the truck. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Do something. And I will see you later.